Do you feel overwhelmed when you look at your house because of the amount of stuff that you've collected over the years? Are the clothes in your closet, some that no longer fits or some that is not even used? And some still have price tags, believe it or not. Are you still holding on to baby cribs, uh, baby car seats, high chairs, uh, Winnie the Pooh plush toys, and many, many, many more, my friend. And yet, those babies who use those items are no longer babies. They are either teens or they are grown adults who have gone either to college or they have their own homes now. If that describes you, my friend, or somebody that you know, then this video is for you. Keep watching and remember, one man's trash is another man's treasure. So hello friends and welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here my name is Nokia and on this channel I talk about ways of making and saving money in the comfort of your home yes I do and if this is your first time here hey welcome it is so good to have you uh, consider subscribing you know it's absolutely free right and remember to ring that little notification bell so that you don't miss any of uh, my valuable content that I upload every single week so yeah as you have seen the topic uh today we are talking about uh, ways in which you can sell uh your clothes or what you term clutter that is stuff that for you it's no longer useful you no longer use these items and this may be clothes this may be items laying around and this may be things that your children once used uh, and it can vary from the bedroom to the kitchen uh, to the bathroom to the living room and stuff that you that is just gathering dust here yeah, that is what we term uh, clutter things that you no longer use and you no longer uh, find uh, for lack of a better word value in them uh, and you can uh, easily get rid of them without even feeling like you are missing anything but before I get on with the video I want you to stay tuned because after I give you these 12 ways plus a bonus tip at the end I'm also going to show you how this topic is sitting close to home because I am literally going to be decluttering one of my favorite favorite places in this in this condo uh, and I'm going to be getting rid of some of my absolutely beloved things but the truth is I haven't used them for years if you want to know what that is and it will shock you I want you to stay until the end of the video I am definitely going to hopefully I remember to post a picture as well well of that area in the condo that I'm going to be decluttering yes it's going to shock you and I'm also going to tell you how I am going to sell the stuff uh, to increase my bank balance so hey let's get on with the uh, with the practical ways in which you can um, turn that clutter into cash without wasting any time so number one have you heard of the offer up app <laughs> yes it's offer up the app uh, yeah this is an app where you can uh, list your items clothing or uh, whatever and it's a it's an app that you that is used for uh, local sales like in your community you can sell the stuff you can list this um you list the items that you want to get rid of on the app and uh, people who are in your area they can um, uh, pay the price or they can negotiate that's the good thing about offer up uh, the people who are interested in buying those items Items, they have an opportunity to negotiate the price so you can um, list those items whether they are big uh, whether they are baby cribs or your clothing your shoes or whatever it is uh, you can list them on the offer up uh, this I, I know people who have even sold cell phones on offer up and the thing with offer up is once the item is bought make sure that you meet at a, at a safe uh, common place like a like a supermarket to a strip mall or a police station uh, to exchange the money and the items so and the second I the second place where you can get rid of this stuff 
which is similar to number one is let go the let go up is also similar to the offer up you also uh, this is also a local uh, local community uh, kind of app so like the name says let go is a way in which you can let go of those things that you no longer need or use uh, and what it is about these uh, local community apps uh, like anything else when you list them you want to make sure that you give a full description uh, you have to mention whether they are working or not because even if they are not working some people uh, may be interested in buying them because they find value in them they they might be some techie guys uh, you guys who are, are so good in technology if it thinks if it is things like uh, cell phones because on let go and, or, and offer up I've heard of people selling even old cell phones and iPads and stuff like that so whatever it is just list it and give it a fair a, a reasonable value and leave the room for negotiation and then you can it's better getting that cash rather and get rid of that stuff that is uh, sitting in your house why not let it go and put the money into good use and uh, create more space in the home which is the whole idea you want to create uh, more space in your house so that you can be more functional and be more productive moving on to number three the other way in which you can get rid of uh, stuff that you are no longer using is one that I also use on a consistent basis actually I have a closet in there it is Poshmark a Poshmark uh, some people have turned Poshmark into a business Poshmark was introduced so as to connect uh, people like you and I who want to get rid of stuff or people who are looking to buy stuff so there is uh, a, a lot of interaction on uh, on um, Poshmark and there's a lot of traffic and you, what you do is you create an account uh, you download the Poshmark app just like the other two download the app and uh, list your items take photos very clear photos and grab your items fully and mention if there's any defects and what is going to happen is if somebody's interested in that particular item they, they are going to either uh, pay the full price or they can send you a, an offer that is them they can uh, negotiate the price with you and if you accept the offer that they have presented to you in most cases I try by all means to to accept the offer as long as it is reasonable uh, once you accept the offer um, the buyer is going to not only pay the price of the item but also uh, they will pay for the shipping label and Poshmark is going to email you a shipping label so you don't have to go to the post office to buy a label the buyer pays for the label and and then Poshmark uh, emails you that prepaid uh, shipping label which you um, attach to a priority mailbox and um, give it to your mail carrier when they come by uh, if it is here in the US uh, in the US of A USPS or if it is in Canada just hand it to your mail person so you don't even have to go to the post office you just print the label fold your fold your item neatly if it is a dress or a jacket or whatever it is uh, take it nicely neatly put a thank you note and send it out uh, with the mail carrier and then uh, once the once the buyer receives uh, their item they have 72 hours to accept and review the item to see if it is uh, the item that they they wanted or the item that you described and once uh, they are happy usually it's uh, within that uh, a few hours some of them especially those who are familiar with how the app works they are going to accept uh, that uh, they will accept the order and say that they received and that will, that will let Poshmark know to release your funds if however it is somebody who is maybe buying for the first time on Poshmark and they are not aware of how to um, how to go about the process uh, Poshmark gives them 72 hours to review or to query or whatever and if they do not act within 72 hours um, either to release the funds uh, by accepting that item that they they bought from you that they have received or um, if they don't uh, ask to return of which uh, they have very very strict rules on returns 
Poshmark in 72 hours is going to release those funds for you and you can uh, transfer the money into your checking account via direct deposit or if you're one of those people who still use paper checks you can request them to send you a paper check and that is how Poshmark works and then another app that is similar to uh, Poshmark uh, that you can use to get rid of uh, the clutter in your house, your clothes or whatever it is, uh, uh, the items laying around is the Macari app. It works uh, almost similar to uh, Poshmark. You don't have to set up shipping rates. Uh, once the buyer, once you list your item, describe what it is and set a price and uh, once, the person, once the person interested buys the item, then Poshmark, then sorry, then Macari is going to email you the shipping label and you are going to send it out to the buyer so you can check out uh, the Macari app and download it and read their rules with same with all the other um, apps that I've mentioned you need to read the rules and regulations or oh, let me also say that for um, for uh, apps like Poshmark and Macari they, 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 they take a certain percentage like for example for example uh, Poshmark they take 20% of uh, the value of the item say if the buyer paid uh, $50 uh, this is excluding shipping the shipping doesn't come to you it goes straight uh, to Poshmark uh, though however you can give them a shipping discount that is up to you but if you do give the, uh, the, the buyer a shipping discount let me let you know that you are going to pay the difference of that um, shipping label because uh, Poshmark is a very 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 good deal with the USPS the flat rate for everything everything up to five pounds is the same uh, shipping rate uh, whether it's a pair of earrings which I find insane or a pair of shoes or a coat as long as uh, the weight is not over five pounds uh, the, the, the shipping uh, rate is the same so if you do decide as a way of selling your item quick if you do decide to give uh, your buyer a shipping discount that is if you are send, going to be sending them offers if you have multiple items that you have listed in your closet uh, that's what it's called they are called closets um, if you have uh, listed multiple items and you want to get rid of them and you try to lure, lure the buyers into purchasing you can give them some discount from 10% going up plus a shipping discount if you do give them a shipping discount you are going to be responsible for that difference so that means that means Poshmark is going to deduct uh, the difference of that uh, shipping label whatever discount you gave to your buyer it is going to be deducted from the uh, the price of the item that is sold with that being said Poshmark does take a fee and it takes as of the recording of this video uh, Poshmark takes a flat fee of 20% of the uh, sale price of the item for example if you sell something for $50 if something is bought for $50 uh, not that is uh, not including them and that does not include the shipping cost so if your item uh, the selling price is uh, that the buyer uh, paid is $50 Poshmark is going to take uh, $10 and you are going to receive the $40 and the seven dollars whatever the shipping rate it goes straight to uh, Poshmark because they are going to uh, email you the shipping label so you don't even have to worry about sh setting up uh, shipping rates or going to the post office to buy um, to buy the shipping label so that is exactly how uh, Poshmark works and then uh, same Macari as well uh, they take a fee I believe if I'm not mistaken Macari as, a, as of recording this video I believe Macari takes 10% uh, of the selling price and they also um, email you a shipping label uh, <laughs> and uh, they will release the money to you once the buyer receives the item so Macari and Poshmark they kind of like very very similar in that way but the difference is their shipping rates so that is uh, 
Poshmark and Macari. And then at number five, you can also check out our consignment stores. Uh, these mostly are online. I'm talking about consignment stores like ThreadUp, uh, consignment stores like a Real Real, uh, consignment stores like uh, Kids and or Plato's Closet. Plato's Closet can be local, uh, but the other ones that I've mentioned, they are online. So if you go with ThreadUp, uh, the way they work is you put the items in a box and then you send them out and then they are going to uh, sell or pick whatever they it's like they'll be buying them from you they'll choose whatever they think they're going to sell and then if uh, and then pay you whatever price they determine and then if, if there's anything that they are not interested in then they are going to send that back to you and I'm not going to say the shipping rate because that changes all the time we know how uh, crazy the 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 shipping rates have been up and down right here in the US, the US of A and then um, uh, real real is for the higher end items if you have those designer items say maybe you have some Gucci or some uh, high end uh, designer handbag shoes uh, dresses that you have been holding on to and you don't think you are going to use them you can send them to real real and they are going with the way real real works is they are going to uh, sell them for you so they are not going to uh, pay you upfront but they are going to sell them for you and then they are going to send you a percentage of whatever uh, the, the the item sold for so that is a uh, real real uh, so expect your items also to sit for a while over there uh, because you know you never know when those items are going to sell and of course Plato's Closet is another consignment where you take their, your stuff over to them usually they are local I know we have one here uh, in Schaumburg and you can take the you can take your stuff there and they will they will decide on what they will pay you and guys I know some people may think oh they are underpaying me but it's better than you sitting on top of those things and them gathering dust it's best for you to get rid of them take that money uh, put it into your bank account and let it grow while it is there or use it for other stuff that you need okay I hope we are together then at number six is my favorite you can uh, open your you can open an account and sell your stuff on eBay this is another app but what I like is they also have uh, you can also do uh, you can also list your items online I mean on the desktop which I find uh, more user-friendly and easy to navigate and easy to edit your photos you still have to take the photographs the difference with eBay is you have to uh, kind of with the eBay app guide guidelines you have to uh, be more you have to uh, set your own shipping rates they, they will guide you if um, as long as you know the weight of the item so that means you have to weigh the item that you are selling and what I like about eBay is that there is a lot of things that you can sell like you know pretty much almost anything that you can ship uh, yes you can um, you can sell you can sell um, uh, cell phones you can sell uh, which I really am very skeptical selling a electronics uh, or I gadgets on on eBay because uh, as we know eBay is a is a is an app that anyone and everyone around the world has access to and they can buy and uh, things like cell phones and uh, other stuff they attract a lot of scammers but uh, personally I sell things like clothing I prefer to sell shoes uh, for me it's like an online business but you can use it uh, to declutter to get rid of the stuff around your house and the good thing and the cool thing about eBay is that you can sell to anyone around the world and you can also uh, set which I really don't do you can also allow local pickup instead of shipping I really don't do it even though I get um, quite a number of local sales are uh, here in in the Chicagoland area I get a lot of uh, local sales but I prefer to ship them and usually the shipping is pretty reasonable and it will save me time and just the hassle of trying to meet up with people with strangers so I just 
I, I never check that box I just uh, ship out everything and the thing with eBay what you should know with eBay is that um y you can sell as an individual like an individual account or you can sign up for a store but if you're just going to do it uh, as an individual if you're not planning to turn this into a business just have an account and just uh, sell your stuff and get rid of it uh, like that and uh, the other thing is um the people the potential buyers have an, have a, a, a chance of um, uh, either bidding if you're going to set up uh, the auction style of shipping if you want to get rid of your stuff uh, of your items quicker you can auction them in which case you have to start the price at the minimum uh, price that you expect to get for that item just in case you get that just one bid and that item is going to sell for that one uh, first price that you uh, the bid started at uh, or you can also uh, have a fixed price but at the same time have the people send you uh, offers and you can accept uh, or counter offer or decline or it's up to you guys it's up to you you can do whatever you want but I think eBay is uh, one of the most effective way ways of selling and it's a way in which you know that they have a lot of traffic and uh, the, the the diversity of the buyers the buyers are all over they have uh, a whole lot of people who come uh, to shop and after your sale is completed uh, eBay is going to uh, take their final value fees and um, of course I'm assuming that you don't have a store because if you have a store like I do then if I have some promoted rate uh, fees they're going to take that as well uh, and etc 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 but if you just uh, don't uh, have a store and you just listing your item straight up that's exactly what it is they'll just take take their final value uh, fees and then you purchase you have to purchase the label for yourself on the within the eBay app and the reason why it is advantageous for you to purchase the label within the eBay app is because eBay also like Poshmark they have a commercial rate that is discounted shipping rates with the post office uh, so you want to ship you want to print your shipping label within the eBay app and uh, send it to the address that is listed on that account uh, of the buyer avoid sending it to a different address if the buyer says oh send my item to this address that's not listed you are doing it at your own risk if anything goes wrong the eBay seller protection uh, insurance or is not going to cover you and if you do sell internationally make sure that you check the box that says uh, sell internationally using the global shipping program in that case when the buyer pays for their items all you are going to get is the money to ship the item to the to the Kentucky fulfillment center where eBay is going to process the customs forms and send the items over to wherever that buyer is that's the best and easy and cost-effective way to go about it cost-effective to you but I know it's more expensive to the buyer because I believe their shipping rates internationally are super high I do get quite a number of international uh, international um international uh, sales and the good thing about the international sales is that uh, if anything goes wrong between the eBay people and the customer if anything goes wrong that is up to eBay they have to refund the buyer without penalizing you or anything like that so that is eBay I can go in further uh, with eBay just let me know what you need to know but look out for my uh, my upcoming video where I'm going to be uh, talking about shipping tips especially for those of those of you who want to take uh, this further and make eBay turn eBay into an online business, uh, then just leave me a message on the uh, in the uh, comments below, and I will definitely address those questions uh, through a video. But I'm working on two videos: uh, how to grow your feedback, uh, your positive feedback on eBay. That's super easy, and how to uh, and the shipping tips. It looks like most people um, are very very skeptical. Um, selling on eBay because they are scared of the shipping part it's not as difficult as you think and I'll show you how in uh, a, a different video coming up soon so and then moving on the other way of getting rid of your stuff that clutter collecting dust in your house is 
the Facebook marketplace yes and what I like about this is uh, the Facebook marketplace just wherever you are around the world we know Facebook is all over the world you can uh, list your items on the Facebook marketplace there are no fees uh, and again you want to be safe make sure that whoever has bought your item does not get come to your residence they do not know where you stay arrange to meet at a place that is uh, central a place like a mall a place like a police station and make sure they do it for those of you who are in, uh, in places like um, uh, those dangerous places where somebody can follow you to your place make sure that you are smart enough to make sure that the person does not follow you to your home yeah but you can get rid of stuff like that uh, creeps and whatever things you want to sell using the Facebook marketplace and next up is uh, similar to the Facebook marketplace there are also uh, Facebook groups that are local you can where people uh, either get rid of stuff or they sell among themselves and these local groups have been very 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 helpful because uh, also they tend to arrange to meet up at, at, at uh, central places meet and uh, give them that stuff or whatever it is actually you know what with the Facebook groups I believe uh, some groups like the moms of whatever area it is uh, some of them they actually give away stuff and they donate stuff which actually brings me to my next point check out Craig's list yes Craig's list has a selling section and a free section you can list your items for sale on Craig's list and then uh, people can buy there or they can buy the stuff from from you you can either deliver them or they can pick them up also you can be smart and arrange uh, to meet at a central location so that you are safe guys you know there are crazy people out there so craigslist is another place and also you can also give away stuff for free or get stuff for free at craigslist actually as a matter of fact i know people who get stuff for free on craigslist and they turn around and sell them online that's one way of doing it because you know uh at times people are either moving and uh, they don't want to move with all these things and they just uh, don't want to waste time or wait to sell them and they just give they find giving them away uh, is way faster than trying to sell them so there is a free section on Craigslist on Craigslist where you can get the items for free and then on number 10 is if you live in a house you can also hold garage sales uh, the issue with garage sales though depending on the on the weather the type of weather where you live uh, this can be very very seasonal like here in Chicago right now at the recording of this video it's snowing it's winter so there are no garage sales here right now garage sales are going to start maybe spring into summer and uh, yeah so if you live in areas in states or places where the weather permits you can hold a garage sale where you open up your garage and put all your stuff um, in the garage or even in the driveway and uh, advertise and people who drive in by or uh, people who see See if you put if you list your garage sale in the garage sale app there is a garage sale app believe it or not uh, it to uh, tell the people there are some people who look out for garage sales especially resellers uh, people who own e-commerce businesses like I do and most of them they buy at garage sales because they know that the prices at garage sales are pretty much giveaway prices and then they turn around and sell those and usually most of these people they get uh, they really get a lot of valuable stuff because the reason why people hold garage sales is pretty much to get rid of stuff they don't care about the value or the price they just want to get rid of everything you can you can hold the garage sale and if you uh, come towards the end of your sale and then people come by and they want to even buy your whatever is remaining you can easily do that and just get rid of everything that way you have uh, a little money in your account and you have uh, more space in your house for more productivity yes indeed and but if you live in a condo building like us here we what happens here they normally i'm not 
sure now I think it's once a year once a year they hold what's called the white elephant cell in the party room in our building it's held in the party room so people who want to uh, sell their stuff they go at uh, their tables that are set uh, by the, the guys who work here and then I can go and set up my stuff there and I'll go and sell so you can sell or you can go and buy uh, stuff from other people but uh, the reason for this video the purpose for this video is to sell right so you I, I can easily go and do that but the thing with that is the prices really have to be very very low so that I really get rid of these things uh, without you know having to take them back into uh, my place so that is um, an extension of garage cells white elephant cells and uh, yeah even people who live in uh, places like where there is um, a group of people like uh, assisted living or long-term facilities this is the type of thing that they do they they hold what's called a white elephant cells that means stuff that is no longer that they no longer use they get rid of them via the white elephant cells yeah so that's uh, what it is and then um it, it, what's also coming to my mind is uh, this this is not in my notes uh, you also like uh, can be part of uh, the, the church cells some churches especially big churches they get uh, they can they, you can go and you sell your stuff there or yeah you can go and sell your stuff at the church cells uh, for very very reasonable prices and people again who like to buy these type of things uh, people are going to buy them and resell them for profit yes indeed so moving on uh, to the next item at number 11 uh, is there are many I just bunched up these apps there's a group there's a lot of apps that you can look up uh, I'm talking about apps like uh, Vinted I'm talking about apps like Grailed I'm talking about apps like Depop you can look up those apps and uh, see how they work how what their policies are and list your items on there and then the next one is uh, my absolute favorite and I didn't know about this app until recently when I was uh, doing my homework and assignment for this this video oh my god declutter.com it declutter.com so appropriately named you can sell your cds and dvds yeah you put them in a box uh ship them out there you and say what they are and they are i believe they are not very strict uh they and they don't even they don't even hold your stuff and wait until it's sold the moment they receive them they send you your money via paypal or whatever yeah via paypal i believe and uh, they will they literally buy those cds and dvds from you and then they uh, resell them and then the bonus point that i have for you is that the bonus and of course for the bonus point is for somebody who really doesn't uh, care about the money you can either swap or those things or you can give them away okay my battery is dying I'll see you next time bye bye god bless you take care Yo, yo.